8020 Oral Time Travel 2 My name's Keitaro. I'm 13 years old. I've come to visit my grandpa in the country during summer vacation. Grandpa! Welcome! We're happy to see you again. That night, I had a strange dream. There in front of me was D-16, standing in for Haichiro, Grandpa's only remaining tooth. Long time no see. You've grown a bit. It's been a year, right? Do you want to go on another adventure? Really? Can we? Okay, let's head into the future. This time on the SS Super Denture, the SD. We then got on board the SD. The SD shrank, and then we entered a time tunnel. Where are we? We're at a dental college. It's now five years later. That student is you, Keitaro. It looks like you're planning to become a dentist. Well, how about that? At that point, the door opened and a cute girl came in. Hello, Keitaro. It's my cousin, Esumi. I need a little advice from you today. We had dental checkups at school. We listened to a talk about the 8020 project, and our homework was to find out how many teeth each member of our family has and learn how to keep more of our teeth. Grandma is exactly 80 years old and still has 20 teeth, her dentist said while she's always saying how Grandpa has only one left. That's what I came to ask you about. I'm thinking my homework could be about studying the differences between the two of them. As I listened to her talk, the college student me muttered, I really did come, and told Esme meaningfully that all will be revealed that night. There, inside the SD, I came up with a good idea. Hey, D16! Let's take Esme to have a look at the history of Grandma's mouth. Yeah, you bet. Waiting for night to come, we went to Esumi's house. Esumi was asleep, but the bright lights woke her up. Esumi was totally surprised at first when she saw me, 13 years old again, and this strange looking character. But once she heard our story, she became curious and decided to travel with us in Grandma's mouth. I'll introduce you to another friend we rely on. When D-16 said this, a being that looked like a tooth with a golden head appeared out of nowhere. My name is Miroha, 
and I've been asked to be your guide. I'm one of your grandmother's lower left teeth. I came out a month ago. Looks like this is going to be interesting. First, let's head to our grandmother's mouth. With the four of us in the SD, the ship rapidly shrank, and we shot into the sleeping grandma's mouth. Unlike my grandpa's mouth, the inside of my 80-year-old grandma's mouth was very active. Welcome to the wonderland of the mouth. This is where I used to be. Now let's take a trip through the history of this mouth. D-16 set the controls on a panel that looked like a clock, and the SD was sucked into the time tunnel. Here we are at minus 0.5 years old. Minus? Your grandmother's not born yet. We're still in her mother's belly, but the seeds of her teeth are already there. Well then, now let's go over my life history. All of the teeth in a three-year-old's mouth are baby teeth. While we can't see them now, below these are the permanent teeth, which are gradually preparing to come out. Now here I am, what we call a first molar. From six to 12 years old is a special time, when the baby teeth or milk teeth are replaced by permanent adult teeth. In a 12-year-old, teeth have been replaced by 28 permanent teeth. Expressed as a combination of age and the number of teeth, that would be 12 and 28. We can call this an age tooth number of 1228. When she was 15, I got a little cavity and had my top filled with a silver material called amalgam. When she was 18, a wisdom tooth, the eighth tooth at the bottom right, grew in. Then that tooth was pulled at age 24. At age 36, your grandmother crashed on her bicycle and she lost her two front teeth. She got what's called a bridge to take their place. Age 36 was the first time she had fewer teeth minus two. Her age tooth number was then 3626. When she was 40, I had some decay on the side and I got a kind of filling called an inlay. When she was 50, the cavity got deeper, so the filling was taken out and I had a root canal where the nerves inside the roots were removed. After that, the dentist made a base and topped me with a gold crown. And so that is what I look like now. Two teeth from the lower right were pulled out and dentures were made for them. After being used for about a year, they were replaced by implants. So at that point, 6225 and then 6424. Now here is your grandmother getting treatment. She's asking the dentist, Dr. T, a question. My teeth seem to be better than my husband's, but I wonder why there's a difference. Well, there are a number of reasons. For one thing... Huh? This is exactly what my homework is about. Esme listened closely. Here is a scene in the clinic. The shelves hold the patient's records with long medical histories. In the laboratory, a dental technician is making customized teeth matched to each individual person. Your grandmother lost a tooth when she was 70, then one at 73, and another when she was 75. So her age tooth numbers were 7023, 7322, and 7521. Each tooth and mouth has its own history and signs from 0 to 75. Here, the age tooth numbers have gone from 0000 to 7521. This is like an ID number for your mouth. Now we have come to today. Let's go five years from now when your grandmother is age 80. I became looser and looser the older I got, and it was finally decided that I should get pulled. The SD shook powerfully, and I automatically shut my eyes. I noticed the SD had returned to Grandma's mouth, as it was before we traveled in time. One more tooth is missing, so that makes 8020. That's exactly the target of the 8020 project. 
Everyone has a long story about their teeth and mouth. It will be up to you to decide how your story turns out. Please do your best and aim for a perfect 8028. D16 tapped on Esme's shoulder. Esumi woke up suddenly and wondered... Was it a dream? With a blank look. That afternoon, the dental college student Keitaro invited Esumi over to talk about their adventure. Esumi was surprised to hear again the things that happened with her grandmother. So it wasn't a dream. That means I'm going to ace my homework. My future self grinned and winked at us. Watching from the window of the SD, D16 and I high-fived each other. All right, let's go back to the time we started from. Yeah. Huh? It's already morning? So, Keitaro, did you sleep well? I dreamed that I traveled back in time and saw Grandma's mouth as it was in the past. All sorts of things happened as she got older, and I guess got me thinking I could work with teeth in some way. So you discovered your dream for the future while you were dreaming? Well, do your best and good luck! When I looked up, I sensed the SD suddenly flying across the sky. I guess we'll be going into someone's mouth again. That was fun, D16. Thanks for the dream.